Welcome to God's Food for Thought. We're going to continue with having a psalm in your heart. You know, God used the writing of the psalms to encourage his people. He's done that for over 2,000 years. The psalms are a very powerful part of God's word that declares God's triumphs over the evil that tries to come upon us. Having a psalm in our heart is having a song of praise and thanksgiving that quiets our soul and lets us remember that God has already won the battle. In Psalm 103, verse 19, it says, The Lord has established His throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all. Remember, he is the one in whom we trust, the one who is sovereign over all. Verse, or Psalm 100, verse three says, know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. In other words, this is God's world. He owns it all. He created it all. People get so forgetful and think that the world is more important than anything else. And today we're going to look at Psalm 9. We're going to be looking at verses 7 through 11 and then into verses 19 and 20. It says, But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. He shall judge the world in righteousness. In other words, in total truth. There's no deceitful, lying. It's all in his goodness and what's right he shall judge the world in righteousness and he shall administer judgment for the peoples in uprightness you know it sometimes it seems like the the bad guys are winning all the time but th that's only for a very short time god has the final say that will last forever the Lord will also be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. In other words, a place you can run to, a shelter. He's the one that you can always go to. That's having a psalm in your heart, praising God in, in truth that he is sovereign, that he has established his throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all. In verse 10, it says, And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Jesus promised, if you seek, you will find. God has promised that in many places in the Old Testament, that if you seek him, you will find him. You know, if you happen to be listening to this today and you don't really think that you know who God is, all you need to do is say, God, wherever you are, I want to know you. Speak to my heart. That's what God wants to do. And he'll do that. Those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. And then it says, sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion. Declare his deeds among the people. So singing praises is actually has two parts to it. It's singing directly to the Lord, but it's also singing horizontally where we're, we're encouraging one another encouraging each other in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. 
It's an encouragement when you're with a whole bunch of people of like faith that declare the praise of God. That's why it's so important to come to church. We're going to skip down to verse 19. Arise, O Lord. Do not let man prevail. O God, we, we're, we're praying that right now. Let the nations be judged in your sight. Put them in fear, O Lord. They're so haughty. They're taking over everything. That the nations may know themselves to be but men. Think about that. See, love. You know, having a psalm in your heart is having God's word in your heart, having prayer in your heart, and having a song that praises God right in the center of your heart. I like that Psalm 103, verse 19, that we read at the very beginning, that the Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all. That will encourage you. Know that in Psalm 100, verse 3, that he is the Lord. He is God. He is the one who made us. We didn't do this ourselves. Or we didn't evolve from the goo to the zoo to you. That didn't happen. God owns it all. Years ago, about 30 years ago, I was reading Jeremiah 31 and I wrote a song that contains some of those lyrics about God putting his word within our heart and I hope you enjoy this I hope that as we sing this it's a confession I have your word within my heart it's another way of saying I've got a psalm in my heart well we'll see you tomorrow God willing I pray that every day you're getting closer to him, having a psalm in your heart. God bless you.